And uh, that's bed for the night. Hello and welcome back to another episode of MAV, where we do hunting, fishing, camping, everything outdoors. Um, my name is Maverick Jost, and today was an epic day on the water. Oh my god! <laughs> My God! We don't catch no one all day. I don't care. That's a giant. All right, guys. Well, Spencer just cleaned up that salmon. Um, excellent looking fillet. Super fat meat. This episode, what we're gonna do? I'm going to bed right now. It's about 9:30 at night. I'm sleeping in Spencer's beloved warehouse out here in Door County, Wisconsin. And uh, tomorrow morning we're going to be targeting some king salmon. We're waking up at 3 in the morning, so it's going to be an early one. Um, Got to get my beauty sleep. And uh, we're going to be smoking some salmon at the end of this episode. I have a, I have a nice recipe I want to share with you guys. Um, it's one of my favorite ways of cooking fish. Till then, I need to get some shut eye, so it's, uh, I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. I guess I forgot to mention last night. Um, thank you guys so much for taking some time out of your day to watch me. It is 3 in the morning right now. 3.30. Hmm. Alright, well, I'm going to get some clothes on. And uh, we're going to get after today. Chris's clothes, I gotta grab my coffee quick. All right guys, and just like that, we're on the lake. It's about 4.15 in the morning right now. We're out here on the beloved Lake Michigan, going after some king salmon yet again. So, like I said, we're gonna spend the first half of the morning going after some big king salmon. Hopefully we can get another one like we did yesterday. And then uh, we're gonna spend the next half of the day smoking up some fish and having a nice meal. So, stick with us, some king salmon are coming your way. Quite a bit of a break here, dude. That has to be a fucking thermal climb. Look at this. Yeah, that's crazy. What else would it be? Right? I never seen a thermal climb look like that. But... Like the whole way. All right guys, we're all set up. We got eight rods going around here. Got some copper, dipsy, downrigger, and uh, all that's left to do is get some fish. So I'm out here with Spencer and Chris, and uh, we're hopefully gonna get on some salmon. You think we can do it again today, buddy? Oh, of course. Just give us some time here. <laughs> Look at all that bait. Endless. Endless. Lake Michigan has no bait though. All right, guys, a little midday update for you. Not really much of a midday update. It's more of a morning update. It's about 8 o'clock right now, and uh, still haven't got a bite. It's a brisk 49 degrees out here right now, and uh, we've kind of been just in a penguin huddle all morning trying to uh, stay warm in the boat. But we're getting pretty sick of these salmon. I think we're going to call it in about 15 minutes. So we might be able to get a last-minute fish here, but... Uh, Thank God we got some salmon fillets waiting and some brine for us back at home. So uh, we'll be able to smoke some up tonight. So I guess, uh, I don't know, praying for the last 15 minutes. Maybe we'll get a buzzer beater fish, but if not, at least we got fish to eat. We'll see you back at the shop.
it's still uh, it's still super early in the season. So what I mean by that is our water temperature is still really cold. There's a lot of bait here, but the water temps are cold, so the fish haven't really showed up yet. Um, what happens on Lake Michigan is the fish kind of start to come up in like Milwaukee. Um, then they just keep moving up the this. There's a fish. Oh my! We're hooked up. <laughs> Give it 15 minutes and it's hooked up. Let's go, baby! Woo! We almost picked up. The board is sunk, dude. I know it's sunk. I thought you were. I thought you were messing with the line. Yeah, same. I thought you were messing. Still hey, you want to catch one, dude? Huh? You, you ever catch salmon? Take it. Is this thing rolling? Yeah. Oh my god, dude. Right, so the the board eventually is going to come up. Okay. So, as I was saying, yeah, before we were so rudely interrupted by that salmon, is it's still really early in the year. Meaning, a lot of these fish are starting to come up from Milwaukee. And they'll just keep coming up as like the season moves on. So like in July is like our peak. August is our peak, meaning the water's warmed up, the fish are up here. It's still early yet. So I like salmon fishing because these fish are fighting super hard. They're the far in my eyes are the hardest fighting freshwater fish that swim. So check this drag out. Dude, look at that board way out there. Oh my god. Am I doing okay or you got any more coaching for me? Alright, let me know when. Maverick is about 10 minutes into this fight and he is he told me that he's learned one thing from today that is that he needs to start working out again that's that's true how yeah. you feeling bud dude i need to start doing some curls some push-ups if anybody knows a good gym let me know what gym i should get a membership at because oh my god this is brutal man huge shout out to big bite adventures to put me on this fish if you guys want to do something like you see today uh i'll leave spencer's contact information in the description if anybody mentions to spencer that they found this little ad or whatever in this video, he said he'll give you $50 off of your next trip, so. I'll give you a $50 discount. I'll give you the $50 Maverick discount. <laughs> yeah. For the $50 that Maverick never pays me when I take him fishing, I'm gonna give you guys a discount if you wanna come out and do this exact thing and have a workout with a Shimano reel. Yeah, heck with the gym membership. I'm just gonna come fishing yeah. with you, dude. Just give us another 25, 30 minutes and we're gonna show you how big this fish is. We're gonna insert that clip right now. No. Okay. Try to on the jack or no? Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> That's a giant. Oh my god. So when you get to close to the boat, you got, it needs to be lifted under, to the I surface. I didn't understand. I thought I was supposed to go, well, think about go to the back. You, you have no leverage back here. You need to be back yeah. here. So he was swimming at it. Well, there she is. My first Lake Michigan King Salmon. Absolute giant, dude. I'm going to definitely feel this tomorrow. My forearms are killing me. But who needs a gym membership when you got a uh, Big Bite Adventures, I guess. <laughs> so sick. I was just going to close out the episode and tell you guys that we didn't get any fish, but an absolute miracle right here. We're going to fish for a little bit longer here, and uh, hopefully we can get another salmon in the boat. But if we don't, I guess uh, we won't be lacking meat tonight. Ready? Sick. 24, 3, 23, 22, 23, 24, 23, 24 pounder. Not an old fish. You can tell that this fish is not that old by how small its head is. 
if it was a big old one, this thing would have a big old head. Just a young, beautiful 24 pounder! Definitely a uh, pl uh, natural fish. You can tell it's a natural fish by this adipose fin here. When this fin is not clipped, that means this is a naturally reoccurring fish, meaning it went into a river or, or a harbor or some kind of creek and spawned. Um, the DNR is doing, uh, they do a lot of stocking on Lake Michigan, but this is a natural reproducing fish, um, which is good to see. It's awesome to see that there's fish are actually naturally reproducing, and this is not just a planted fish. So, awesome little fish from Mav's first uh, Lake Michigan King. Thanks, buddy. Sick. Cool. So now we're just gonna kind of we're gonna bleed out the fish so they don't suffer. We're gonna freaking make sure that we uh, cut its gills out and bleed out the bleed out the meat so it tastes better too. All right, guys. So we just got back off the water. Um, time to get this fish smoking. So we're gonna do it on the propane grill. Um, we've got some apple wood chips, some nice freshly brined salmon that was just caught yesterday morning. So. I'm gonna go do that. I'm getting pretty freaking hungry, so salmon's gonna taste good. All right guys, so what I'm doing now is I'm just kind of patting the salmon fillets dry, just kind of wiping off that stuff off the top. Um, and then before I start smoking them, it's really important that I let them sit out for about an hour. And you want them to kind of get like a jelly type of layer on the top of them, like they should be kind of sticky to the touch. You'll see what I'm talking about when uh, I come back in an hour. So I put them on the grill just because I don't want to put them inside and I put a little rock there just so it gets some airflow going. So uh, those fillets are getting hit with the, hit with some air. We'll check back in an hour. All right guys, so we left the salmon sitting out here for like, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes and we thought that it wasn't uh, wasn't drying out fast enough so we took some paper towels to it right there and uh, it's looking a little better now. So you can see it's got like a little bit of a little bit of a film on it, kind of sticky to the touch. I've never smoked salmon on a propane grill before so this will be interesting. We got like a little aluminum boat here filled with wet apple wood chips. All right guys, so we had to switch up a little bit. Um, it wasn't smoking enough before, so what we did is we actually took off this little triangle cone deal that was on there, and we put it directly on the flame, get nice and smoky. So we're going to let this sit for another couple hours, and then I think we'll be able to eat. A couple hours? Yeah. Maybe yeah. like an hour. No. Yeah, you, can't, you can't eat yet, bud. Sorry. I'm hungry, though. I'm sorry. All right, so as I was saying, I can't take much credit for this because I was editing a video. No, you weren't. And, uh, you were sleeping. I was definitely not sleeping. Don't tell him you were editing. You were sleeping. I was editing a video. It's done. All right, so this stuff's got to cool. Um, Easy. And <laughs> we're going to be able to bite into this stuff in, I think, probably about an hour or so. So we got to wait. It's still a waiting game, even though it's all the way cooked. All right, and there she is. She's cooled off, been cooling for like an hour and a half. Let's give her a taste test and see how it is. Mm-hmm. Not too bad for a, a propane grill smoker. We worked with what we got today and this tastes pretty freaking amazing to me. You can taste the Zadrans in there for sure brown sugar. Chris was telling me that I could use a little more salt and I, I think I agree with him. So it is freaking awesome though. I got a bunch of fillets. Um, I think I'm going to share the rest of them with my family. Give a couple to Spencer, of course. And I think Chris is probably going to take some home. I'll be lucky if I get one of these fillets. As far as this smoked salmon goes, um, definitely not as good as the fish that I smoked in Alaska. Maybe that was a one hit wonder thing. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to try this again with the, uh, the fillets that I'm bringing home and see if I can do it a little better. I guess I've never really worked with a salmon fillet that's this thick, so that was a, uh, a task in itself. Thank you guys so much for tuning in this episode of MAV. I hope you guys learned a thing or two or at least were entertained by this video. And uh, 
If you guys would be so kind to go down below, hit that like button, um, hit the subscribe button, maybe uh, turn notifications on, that'd be awesome. But until next time, my name is Maverick. Thank you so much for tuning in. And you already know the drill, just keep on trucking.